Hey everyone, I wanted to come on here and um, just kind of update you guys with where we're at. Um, it's been a tough um, week, really. Um, you guys know that I'm all about being transparent and honest as a breeder. And I've gotten a little bit of pushback recently because with Willow's puppies, I did put them on hold um, because of, I said, due to health concerns because I was a little worried about them. Um, I lost most of her puppies, um, because they did come early. I was not there. They were born in the middle of the night. So I lost several puppies and, um, the ones I did have, um, I had four and then I lost another one. So, um, I'm down to three right now. And I'm calling them my rainbow babies because they were the only ones that made it. And they are doing well um, right now. And um, But I did put them on hold um, because I was a little bit concerned with how they were doing. The number one thing that I don't want to do is I don't want a family to go through puppy picking when um, I am not 100% confident of their strength and their health. I would hate for a puppy, you know, a family to pick a puppy and then me have to call them and let them know that I lost the puppy. Um, because sometimes no matter how much that I do, sometimes that that's how nature is with animals. Sometimes they don't make it. And no matter how much I do, sometimes it happens and it's hard. Um, so I got a little bit of pushback from that and I just wanted to come and make a video just so you know, everyone knows that I try to be as transparent as possible, very honest, and I try to do my best and really put the puppies first. Um, with Aussies, um, we do puppy picking early because of tail docking. My doodle people know that I don't do doodle puppy picking till three weeks old. Um, Aussies are a little bit different. So, um... I think it's important to know that um, with my breeding program, it's not like a business where I have inventory on a shelf. That's really important to know that, you know, when the puppies are born, I do everything in my power that I possibly can to keep them healthy, to keep them strong. But unfortunately, sometimes like what happened with Willow's puppies, um, I lose some of them. So, and it's really... It's really hard on me um, to deal with that loss, um, but also I want to protect my families and also protect the puppies to make sure that, you know, I'm not doing puppy picking for the money or anything like that for, you know, breeder other breeders might do. I want to make sure that, that I put my puppies first, make sure that they are good and healthy, and I understand that may make some people nervous whenever I, you know, tell them that I'm putting a puppy on hold and, you know, I've had families go to other breeders because I have done that. And I just want you to kind of see from my side a little bit that I am trying to do my best um, to make sure that the puppies are healthy um, before you do any kind of puppy picking. And... I just want you to kind of see the human side of things and make sure that you know that I'm just doing my best um, and we are dealing with puppies. We're dealing with animals. We are not dealing with, you know, inventory on a shelf. And I think sometimes it's easy to do that whenever you're like, hey, I want this puppy. Um, I want this coloring, you know, male or female or whatever and that kind of thing. And, um important to know that they are they are still animals they are puppies and sometimes things go wrong and there's only so much that I can do um, to help and just know that when I share this it's so much loss to me and I am heartbroken and very very sad that I lost so many puppies I haven't lost um, that many in a litter before so yeah, thank you for listening, and just remember that I am doing the best I can. Thank you.